27 degrees is close enough to not freezing, so the car got pretty salty from being out yesterday with all the snow we had over uh, the last couple of days. The roads are still half white. It's supposed to get up to 55, 56 degrees in the next couple of days, 45 tomorrow. 27 right now, so I'm just going to go rinse the salt off again. It's probably 4 o'clock-ish. Been talking on Skype with Bobby and Colt, working on some sketch up, doing some emails, doing some YouTube, all the fun stuff. It's 419, so I'm going to head out and we'll see what that looks like. Well, the floor looks like crap. So does the car. Look at that. That is 10 miles. And even if I do that for a second, it's still on there. So I think I'm going to try this little guy over here. Pressure washer. Now, I'm not going to be stupid and focus a jet and grind this stuff through my clear coat. I'll fan it out if I can get it started and if it works. It's cold out here and it's been a while. So I run the risk of turning my garage floor into another ice skating rink, but uh, I guess I'll take that risk and see if I can blast some of this stuff off. And it's probably going to be just as bad tomorrow. It's going to rain this week, but my goal is to remove salt, not dirt. You know, we'll get salt off. But the driveway is actually dry and not so icy, a little bit down there, but that's a good sign. Usually it's just caked in ice in the middle of winter, but not this time. Lots of extra room. Look at that. That is grotesque. Come on. You got to do more than 10 RPM for me. Consider a job done for now. I'd say this is about as good as it's going to get. It is still cold, as you would expect, and it's starting to turn to ice out here and close to the door. Can you see that? Yeah, that's getting slippery, so I'm going to move the car back over. It did a pretty decent job. I kept the, uh, the thing fanned out enough so I'm not drilling the side of the car with a lot of water pressure because it does 2,200 pounds maximum, or at least it did when it was new without a bent valve. So. Probably not anywhere near that today, but it's better. I dried it off with a blower, just a leaf blower. As you can see, there's still some water on there, but hey, you know, that's that's not bad. I just wanted the salt off here, and it's gone, so I'm going to move it back now. My God, this thing's loud when it's cold. It idles at a thousand instead of uh, instead of 500. You can see it's chooching over here because it is colder as frig. And I can tell already it's starting to uh, bring itself down in the terms of the RPMs. Yeah, we're about 800. Blow some of that water out of there a little bit. All right, moving it back. And that's about it for today with the car. I like to get myself something to eat, but ain't nobody here, and I don't know how to go and cook myself some food. All right, guys, uh, 1.52 in the morning. I've got Colt in my ear. We're talking blower motors, ECS tuning, A-pillars, and HPS right now. That stands for Head Protection System. It's a good time. Um, it's getting warmer outside. It's actually raining right now. First time I've seen rain in a while. It's been snow which will probably melt that snow. But I don't really remember when the last time I filmed today. I did some SketchUp stuff. I talked to a bunch of people. It was pretty much a boring day. Oh, we did the car, yeah. I got the car washed a little bit. So tomorrow's Monday. We're going to do a couple classes, come home, and then I'm going to be on Skype some more, I'm sure. And I'll talk to you guys then.